Ladies and gentlemen, Lyrical Opera Theatre proudly presents Falstaff. <laughs> Gregory, can you please tell us about your character? Well, the character I'm playing instead is the title role, uh, Sir John Falstaff, the Fat Knight. Um, he is, you know, a, a character created by Shakespeare, who occurs in several of his plays, uh, Henry the Fourth, Part One and Two, and uh, the play that this opera is adapted from, The Merry Wives of Windsor. Um, he's he's an older man. He's an older gentleman, a uh, knight, and. But he's also a, a man who likes to drink and eat, and he's very Falstaff, the Falstaff, who is who is, is the wonderful contradiction, who is the uh, brave coward, you know, the, the brave coward, the the uh, honorable thief. <laughs> the honorable thief, I like that. And in in the play, in the opera, he he writes a letter to um, two women, two married women of the town of Windsor. And his plan is to woo them so that they will be able to continue to pay for his drinking and eating. Uh, Alice is uh, a woman that uh, Falstaff decides to try to woo and seduce. Falstaff is down on his luck and he knows that Alice is the one who holds the money close to her heart in the family. In the family. And um, he believes that if he seduces her, he can have her and the money. But little does Alice know at the beginning um, that Falstaff also has designs on Alice's best friend. They get the same proposition. So he really can't be that smart. No. Yeah. He's not that. He's not that, He's not that, that smart. smart. <laughs> Who does that? that? At least the best friends are going to come together and say, guess what happened to me guess today? Guess what happened? I had the weirdest thing happen. <laughs> so, um, uh, Alice and her, her confidants, they come up with a plot to teach Falstaff a lesson. And and take out their revenge. That's right. Take out their revenge. Which they do quite well. They, they do. do succeed. <laughs> they very much do. In an incredibly intelligent and funny manner. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, Jessica, can you tell us about your character, Nanetta? So, Nanetta is the daughter of Alice and Ford, um, and she's also she's she's young and she's innocent, and she's and she's um, also in love with a tenor, and his name is Fenton, of course. <laughs> and um, and so they so she's part of. The, you know the whole scheme of all of the stuff that's going on in the opera but then she also has her own private little story um, with Fenton and they, they keep their they're in love and they keep their secret um, because Ford 
wants Minetta to marry Dr. Caius, who she thinks is just like the worst thing ever. He's old and yucky, and he's got this cute tenor. Right? So. <laughs> about your character Bardolfo in our Falstaff? Uh, well, Bardolfo is one of Falstaff's cronies. Falstaff has two sort of little sidekicks, and um, one of them is baritone, one of them is a tenor, and uh, the tenor is named Bardolfo, or Bardolf in English. Uh -huh. And he's, he's pretty funny, he's uh, technically a page, because Falstaff is technically a nobleman. That is true, but, yeah. Um, sort of, his, you know, his, his retinue has also sort of gone to seed, much like Falstaff. Much Falstaff. like Falstaff! <laughs> so, um, Bardolfo's drunk, he sort of takes advantage of Falstaff, you know, they like eat on his bill. The whole first scene is about them and all the stuff they've eaten on Falstaff's bill, so he's, <laughs> yeah, he's funny. Falstaff is a fool in so many ways! He is, yeah. So, but he's, he is always drunk and has a big red nose. And they're all, because of that. Yeah, there are all these jokes about his big red nose and being drunk. And, 